or we'll solve some time sums. Children, now let's uh, do some examples, some, uh, some sums to solve and see whether you have understood the concept or not. So here the question is, find the time at 30 degrees station A longitude when it is 10 a.m. at 15 degrees east. So this first step would be that you will draw this line and you will write 15 degrees. How much is the time? 10 a.m. And on 30 degree east, we have to find the time of this. So according to the first step, since the longitudes are in the eastern hemisphere, both are in the eastern hemisphere, so there will be subtracted. They will be subtracted. So 30 degree east minus 15 degree east, that is equal to 15 degrees. Now second uh, step, that the degree has to be changed into minute. Since 1 degree is equal to 4 minutes, therefore 15 degrees will be 15 into 4, that is 60 minutes. Then the third step, change the minutes into hours, divide the minutes by 60, that is 1 hour. Now 60, your answer you got 60, 60 divided by 60 will be equal to 1 hour. So the answer is 1 hour. Now then you have to see whether the unknown time lies towards the east or west. In this case, it is lying towards the east. Since the unknown time lies towards the east of the known time, time will be added to the answer we have got. So 10 a.m. is the time in which we add 1 hour, this answer which we got, 1 hour, that is equal to 11 hours or 11 a.m. Therefore, the time at 30 degree east is 11 a.m. when it is 10 a.m. at 15 degrees east. Now, two points, two uh, steps are very important. Step number one and step number four. Because from here only your uh, sum will be correct or if you reach till here, then this step also you can make a mistake. Your sum can be wrong. Now children, let's do another example. Find the time at 70 degrees longitude when it is 9 p.m. at 10 degrees west. 70 degree west longitude, we have to find the time. And the time at 10 degrees west is 9 p.m. So first step, if the latitudes are in the same hemisphere, the first step is subtraction. So we have subtracted 70 degrees west minus 10 degrees west, that is equal to 60 degrees. Second, to change the degree into minutes, again we have multiplied it with 4 and we get 240 minutes. To change this minutes into hours, we have divided it with 60, 240 divided by 60 and we get 4 hours. Always do division like this. Don't write the uh, uh, numbers or the answer in points. Sometimes suppose here it was 220 instead of 240. Then we would have subtracted 240 minus 220. Here the answer would have been 20. So then the division uh, answer for the dividing would have been 4.20. 4 hours and 20 minutes. So this is how the division, always you will do division like this, not upon 60 and then cutting it and writing it points. Now this step till here, I think it's clear. So first step you have to take care of, then second and third is the same. And then the fourth one, since the unknown time lies towards the west of the known time, therefore what we will do? We will subtract the time the answer which we get from 9 p.m. So since the unknown time lies towards the west of the known time, therefore the time will be subtracted. So here 9 p.m. minus 4 hours is equal to 5 p.m. I have written. So in the beginning, if you remember, I had told you afternoon, uh, the time 1 o'clock as is written as 13 hours, then 14 hours, 15 hours. Likewise, here also this 9 p.m. If they ask the answer in hours, I have written as 21 hours minus 16 hours, which is 4. That is also 5 hours. 
so the answer will be 5 pm till now we have done the examples of longitudes lying in the same hemisphere east and east west and west now we'll start with the longitudes falling in the two different hemispheres here there is a change in the first rule or the step if you remember the first step was that the longitudes if they are falling in two different hemisphere then the first step is addition of longitudes therefore we have added 15 plus 60 degrees which makes it 75 degrees then the next step is the same multiplied by 4 to convert it into minutes third step is also the same the minutes has to be divided by 60 to change it in hours now comes the tricky part that since the unknown time lies towards the west of the known time so we are moving towards the west in order to know the time what is the time at 15 degrees west in this case we have to subtract the answer with the given time so therefore 5 hours will be subtracted from 11 pm now 11 pm we have written minus 5 hours that is 6 pm will be the answer so what is the time at 15 degrees west 6, 6 pm since it is in pm you can also convert it into 23 hours and set 5 hours can be converted into 17 hours or 5 pm and the answer still will be 6 hours so this is how the time of the place lying in the western part of the known time is calculated hope it's clear to you now look at this example find the time at 15 degrees west when it is 11 am at 60 degree east so these are now of two different hemispheres longitude 15 degrees west time we do not know 60 degree east time is 11 am so the first step here becomes very important since both the uh, longitudes are of different hemispheres therefore the first step will be addition of longitude so we have added 15 degrees plus 60 degree is equal to 75 degrees again to convert it into minutes multiplied by 4 which gives us 300 minutes to change it into hours divided by 60 which gives us 5 hours now the last step which is again very important that the unknown time lies to the west of the known time it is lying towards the west of the known time therefore we lose time and it will be subtracted so from 11 am we have subtracted 5 hours so the answer is 6 so since it is 11 am at 60 degree east so it has its 11 am earlier when the earth will rotate then this place will have have uh, 11 am right now when 60 degree is having 11 am the time at 15 degree west is 6 a.m. Find the time at 60 degree east when it is 2 a.m. at 45 degrees west. I think uh, we have done enough of examples today. So quickly, first step should be addition of the longitudes because they lie in different longitudes, uh, hemispheres. So we have added the answer we have got 105. We change it into minutes multiplied by 4. Answer we get 420. 420 will be changed into hours by dividing it by 60. And the answer we get 7 hours. Since the unknown line lies to the east of the known time, east of the known time, therefore the time will be added. And hence 2 a.m. is added to 7 hours which gives the answer 9 a.m. So 
at this time when when uh, 45 degree west is having 2 a.m what is the time at 60 degree east it is all it is 9 a.m ahead it is ahead to the western hemispheres hope children things are clear to you if you want more uh, examples or sums to do we can do it later but right now till here i think it's enough for, uh, for today and you try to revise everything i'll be sending all the pictures uh, on whatsapp you, for your uh, help and you may consult them and try to understand